Hey y'all. It is Monday, July 9th. It's 6 o'clock. I'm just now leaving work because um, I got into work around 10 o'clock this morning because I was so tired last night. Well, I was tired this morning when my alarm went off because I could not sleep. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. I fell asleep probably around 10, 11, and then I woke up at 2 something and no, 145, and I didn't go back to sleep until 4. I kept hearing noises in the house. Like, I don't know. Like, it was just crazy. And then I let Lady sleep upstairs in my room. So every time she moved, her collar would dangle. And I'm a very light sleeper. So it, it woke me up. And then I just was on my phone, playing, messing around and stuff. So I didn't get back to sleep until 4. My alarm went off at like 6, and it was not happening. So I laid in bed until 8. Um, so I didn't get to work until 10 and then something was wrong with my security camera that was um, that I got off of Amazon so I had to like re boot that and reconfigure it or whatever you call it um, so I was just not acting like I had anywhere to go this morning basically so I was late so yeah work was very long today extremely long the day dragged by um, So yeah, tomorrow I am off work because I have court um, first thing in the morning, very early in the morning. So my plan is to try to get some sleep tonight, which I probably won't. I know I'm not because I'm anxious about my court date. Um, so yeah, my plan is to get into bed at a decent hour tonight, but we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to go home and myself some dinner and then um, try to start stenciling the stairwell wall just to take my mind off things because I'm just not at mental peace right now like my mind is not at rest um, and clearly I know why but I, I don't like functioning like this so I think I'm going to try to take my mind off of it and um, stencil as much of the stairwell accent wall as I can. Kira says she would come over and help me with it as much she can. I only have one stencil and one roller so we'll see. Um, but yeah as far as court um, I'm feeling okay about it. Um, like I, I feel like I'm forcing myself to be feel more okay about it because I've known for a long time that the date is happening and I told you guys before I had to push back the date because of my trip so I had even extra time so I feel like you know that's plenty of time to be okay about it um, but everybody is different every case is different so you know whatever um, but overall I'm feeling okay I do have some a little bit of anxiety about it because this is all I've known for a very long time so to be finalizing everything tomorrow is very surreal and it's kind of scary but um you know this year i conquered a lot of first so this is just another step along the journey i guess that needs to happen in order for new beginnings to happen um so i'm prepared to um To follow through with everything tomorrow. Stacy is actually going to be there just for support, um, which was very kind of her. She offered, and I told her that I definitely appreciate it. Um, but even if she, if not, this is something that you know I need to do, and I feel like I've got confirmation that this is what I need to do. So tomorrow is going to be bittersweet, I think, um, as is a lot of the experiences that I've been faced with over the last year and a half um, but I think at the end of the day I keep telling myself it's going to be okay and the more and more I tell myself that the more likely I am to believe it and calm down about everything um, because I am like a person that is very I have like an A 
type A personality. So I'm very by the books about a lot of things and I'm very um, panicky when things don't go according to how I think they should go. Case in point, this whole situation. Um, so um, I feel like the more I tell myself that things will be okay, the more I will believe it and the more I will be at peace with everything. So yeah, um, I haven't really talked about it much to everybody lately just because I've been hoping to just forget about it and you know pack it in the back of my mind somewhere but the time is near very near for me to address it and um, it will be addressed tomorrow I went ahead and I took the entire day just in case my emotions weren't in order for me to deal with people on a professional level tomorrow um, so I went ahead and took the whole day um, and yeah we'll see I have talked to um, my husband so recently and um, we seem to be at an okay standing right now um, so God only knows what tomorrow will bring we shall see but um, there shouldn't really be any surprises or anything crazy tomorrow just because um, everything was um, consented to it's mutual so as far as on the paperwork for court um so yeah uh that is that and i don't know that i'm going to vlog after court tomorrow um we'll see how i feel and if i feel like talking about it um but if not then you'll see me the next time i feel like pulling out the camera um, I am planning to go back to work on Wednesday. Um, what else? I do have some videos coming up for you guys. Um, yesterday, uh, I didn't do much. I stayed in the house all day. And um, I helped Kiara paint the accent wall in her nursery. And then I came home and laid on the couch. And when Stacey and Harper called and said that they were going to come over in the afternoon, um, I got up around 6.30 and painted the second coat on my stairwell wall, accent wall because I wanted to have it done before they came. And so I got that done and then Stacy brought us dinner and we ate dinner and we chilled out and then they left. After they left, I meal prepped my salads for the week. Um, and then I went upstairs and got into bed. So I didn't do a whole lot yesterday, but it was still productive. I was able to help care with her project and do another phase of mine. And I'm set for lunch this week. Um, so yeah, I do have t three projects going. I told you guys, um, my client uh, friend, I need to schedule the installation of her dining room um, once all her shipments come in. Um, I'm helping Kiara with her accent wall in her nursery and then I'm doing my own accent wall in my stairwell so I have like three projects going on right now but the more I keep busy the less I have to think about everything else that I have going on so just be patient with those I am doing videos on all three of those things so yes um, what else I wanted to, I wanted to tell you guys something else um, don't know but I just thought I, it was just in the forefront of my mind and it slipped my mind that fast um I can't wait to finish this stairwell though I think it's gonna look really really nice I think it's gonna look really really nice we'll see um if my vision comes together I got an alert saying that the photos I ordered were delivered to the post office today so they're supposed to come deliver them to me tomorrow Oh, what I wanted to tell you guys is tomorrow, um, so I told you guys I was supposed to be buying a mirrored dresser, the Pier 1 Hayworth dresser off of Facebook Marketplace from this lady, and I don't know what the deal is. She seems to not want to sell it, or I don't know. She, like, every time I tell her, you know, I ask her, is, you know, today available this evening, 
first she was out of town for vacation and then she's like oh well how about yesterday we'll be back by 5 30 i'm like okay let me see if i can get you know my help to be available then after i call everybody she's like oh never mind i talked to my husband we won't be back in time so i'm like okay cancel again so then i'm like okay well i hit her up this morning she's like i'll let you know tomorrow which was today i never heard from her so this morning i hit her up i'm like hey does tonight work i have help like you know i have a truck like does tonight work it takes her half the day to get back to me she's like oh no tonight doesn't work evenings are really evenings are so hard whatever that means are you available during the day during the week i said no i have a job like no so then i said the um you know maybe tomorrow but i don't know i would have to see about that um and he's like she's like um because i'm off tomorrow you know obviously for court but i will have to see if my help is available after court which they're not now so um i was like just in case they're not does saturday or sunday work for you if you have to do during the day because usually during the week i'm at work and she's like oh i would maybe i would have to check with my family's schedules okay well check like what are you talking about like and then in her facebook she has like small kids so who isn't home at nighttime with small kids like I can't come at eight i don't understand whatever so if that falls through then i'm just not going to get that dresser because i'm tired of going back and forth with her like it's just ridiculous at this point like either you want to sell it or you don't like what's up so um i thought about being able to do that tomorrow um during the day after court but my help isn't available to help me until the evening and she's saying evenings aren't good so um that's probably a no-go i think i'm just going to plan to go get a pedicure and uh, maybe get my nails done and just like try to relax as much as possible and take in everything that you know will have transpired um so yeah and i'm in a tunnel guys so obviously the lighting isn't that great um what else um i told you guys my alarm system is going to be on Wednesday so that's good um what else mm -hmm. I've been loving my ring doorbell guys I showed it to you in I told it to you this past weekend but I've been loving it um that's that is one sense of added security the only thing I don't like is I have the motion sensitivity as far um as far down as it'll go like the least amount of sensitivity um and i'm still getting alerts when cars drive by my house so in the middle of the night if someone is driving by at two three o'clock in the morning that chime goes off and like i told you i'm a light sleeper so it wakes me up um which is kind of annoying but during the day i get them as well um i turn down the motion sensitivity so i don't get them all the time but certain vehicles maybe the bigger ones still register and i still you know get those uh alerts but other than that it, i really like it it's it's really good and i like the fact that i can keep an eye on my house during the day honestly i, I like it um, so i do think it was worth the investment um i cannot wait to get my nest thermostat and my amazon echo that'll be the next two smart home devices i get um and then once my alarm is installed i'll feel a little bit more secure um because like i said living on your own is just very different if you're not used to it and i'm not even though i'm used to the area like it's just and it's only a townhouse but it's still a lot of house for just me like it's three different levels and at nighttime it's just crazy i'm just used to someone being in in the house with me all the time um what else? But I forgot I'm gonna tell you guys. I don't remember. I think that's it. So I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey y'all. It is Tuesday, July 10th. Um I'm off work today because today was the day that I went to court. Um for my divorce and um 
it went fine. It didn't take too long. Um, I think we were done by like 10.30ish, got there at 8.30. So it didn't, it didn't take too long at all. It was very routine. The judge was very much not interested in details or anything. He just, you know, you could tell that he did this all day and he just asked his couple of questions that he had memorized. I answered them. He asked my husband if he had anything to say and then he told me that I had enough, he found that I had enough grounds to um, be granted the uh, divorce. And so they entered it and gave us pr a proposed order. And we have to wait a couple of weeks for the final order to come in the mail. Um, but yeah, so I feel, I feel okay. Um, I was fine all the way up until I got home and then I just felt like I got really, really sad. Um, and then, you know, I wanted to take a nap. I just wanted to kind of chill out. I didn't really want to be bothered by anybody. So, um, I turned my phone off and I laid down and, um, I was very emotional. Um, but I feel better now. I ended up taking a nap. Um, so yeah, I feel better now. I just have to get used to knowing that, you know, everything is final now. Um, but I don't regret. I don't have any regrets. Um, everything happens for a reason. And so we'll see uh, what this next chapter has in store for me. But um, I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that uh, I did end up going. Everything ended up being granted. Everything, you know, was finalized. And, yeah, it's time to press forward. So I think I'm going to lay here for a little bit longer, and then um, I think I'm going to get up and season some chicken for dinner. Um, I wanted to get a pedicure today, so maybe I might do that if I feel like going out. If not, I may stay in and um, start stenciling the stairwell wall a little later because I didn't feel like doing it yesterday. And I didn't get home from work until like 7, and I cooked dinner. At the time I ate, it was almost like almost nine and I was tired. I knew I had to get up early today. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to come and check in with you guys. Um, being at court today made me really, really sad. And not even specifically for my case, but... The family court was, like, full of couples and full of parents. And everybody was, like, getting divorces or were there fighting over child support or custody. It was just really sad to me. And I was just like, man, like, this is crazy. Like, and I kept telling myself, like, it's very busy here for a Tuesday. But if that's how busy they are on just every single day of the it was just really sad. Like, it made me really sad to see that many people and there was this one couple in particular that was like older I want to say they were probably probably in their 60s and you know you could tell that they were two professional you know people but it was just really sad that like all of this was going it was just really sad it just made me really really sad and you could tell that the majority of the people were not cordial with each other because like one would be on one side the other one so whenever they would call the cases people would come from opposite ends of the waiting area it was just really bad and I guess my husband and I were the only couple there for either divorce or custody or child support matters that was cordial with one another so we actually were sitting like next to each other and we're actually conversing with one another and I don't know if the bailiff noticed that or whatever 
but he made a joke after the judge granted our divorce and he was like now y'all yeah, know y'all yeah, can't go out this weekend and get remarried right and then he just like bust out laughing or whatever and i guess he said that because we were the only two that could be in the same room with one another i guess like everybody else was like opposite ends of the room like it was really 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 sad and it just made me just really sad to see that many people that many marriages torn apart you know that many broken families and it was just really sad it was just really sad um but you know crap happens i guess so it is what it is um what else did i want to tell you guys I did opt to take my maiden name back. I have to wait for the uh, final order in the mail in order to go to the Social Security Administration and have it officially changed, just in case you guys were wondering. Um, what else? I think that's all I wanted to tell you guys. I just didn't want to forget to get on here and give you guys an update because I just wasn't feeling up to it earlier. I talked to Stacy. And she, oh, excuse me, earlier before I took my nap, and she kind of, like, talked to me a little bit, and Brittany um, texted me, and another one of my friends texted me just to check on me. So, um, yeah, I appreciate that. Um, what else? I think that's it. I'm just going to lay here for a little bit. It's kind of warm up here, but... I turn on the fan and I'm just gonna lay here for a while and rest and then um, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do later but I think I'm gonna upload a vlog for you guys today so stay tuned for that bye hey y'all it is Tuesday July 10th finally pulled myself out of bed um, I feel like I took enough time to myself to take in the situation so I'm going to um, stopped by Michael's because there's some stuff that I've been seeing on Instagram from other people that I'm interested in and they're having a sale right now so I want to go see um, a couple of things um, one thing in particular are some safety pin wall decor for my laundry area I was looking at some on Ballard designs and they're pretty they were way more expensive than the michaels ones and the michaels ones seem to be of good size as well or comparable size so i want to go look at those um and just see what else they have and then while i'm out i need a pedicure badly i was supposed to get one last weekend but i didn't so instead of sitting in the house and being emotional and upset i'm going to try to make the most out of the rest of my day it is three o'clock so I'm going to try to um, enjoy a pedicure. I think that'll be a relaxing. And then I'm going to come home and season some chicken for dinner. I was supposed to marinate it earlier, but I just didn't feel like it. Um, also, I need to figure out what's wrong with my dog. Lady has been like really weird here lately. I don't know. She's been like throwing up more and it's just weird. So she threw up again before I left just now. Um, and yeah, I don't know. And she hadn't been like drinking, gulping water or anything, which is typically when, you know, it'll come back up. We were just upstairs in my room laying around and she just randomly threw up. So I don't know. And like here lately, she's been like peeing in the house, which she typically doesn't do that often. And I've noticed that her urine is like a lot now. So I don't know. I don't know I'm gonna have to get online and see like what's going on about that um, because it's way more than normal which is weird um, so yeah um, and what else did I want to tell you guys I think that's it I'm gonna really try to be home by like 530 um, because I do want to at least start the wall and I also want to get some good rest tonight because I still have three more days of work and I do want to work nine hour days just to make up three of the eight that I'm off today um 
show you. Just wanted to come in and let you guys know that I did pull myself out of the bed and I am about to hit the streets for just a little bit. I'm actually hungry. My stomach is kind of messed up. Um, I have cramps right now too. Um, but my stomach is kind of messed up so I don't really want to eat anything heavy right now. I mean, I'll eat dinner, but um, so maybe I'll stop and get a smoothie or something. Just um, that's a, something that's a little bit filling, but um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll stop at Smoothie King and get a smoothie or something and that may help my stomach. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. So guys, this was a waste of a trip to Michael's because they haven't finished putting out all their new items yet at this location. They said try back tomorrow, but of course I'm not driving back here tomorrow. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to go to another location, which is like probably 15, 20 minutes away, or just say screw it and wait till the weekend. I don't know. We'll see. Now I'm just looking at some of the other stuff that they have. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Hey, y'all. Uh, so, it is about 5 o'clock. I went to Michael's in Annapolis, which is another city, and they actually had what I was looking for it both of the clothespins or the core they only had two but they're pretty big so i got both of those and then they had another homes wall decor sign that was like written in script so i got that um i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it but i got that they were having a pretty good sale it was like 30 percent off everything um and then there's a tj maxx right next door so i went in there and i got two uh, soap dispensers for the bathroom that I had been eyeing for a while. They were on clearance for $10. So I got two of them, one for lotion, one for soap. I haven't decided if I'm going to put it in the guest bathroom or in my bathroom because I honestly thought to put them in both to get two sets, but they only had two in here. Um, so I got both of those. And then I also got um, a nightgown with a matching robe just because I am a pajama snob. Like, I love pretty pajamas. So... I got a set from there um, I bought a really pretty set a couple of weeks ago too but I didn't really like the way it fit me um, but they told me to keep it and not to return it just yet um, I didn't like the way it fit in the chest area I felt like it wasn't big enough um, but the rest of it was really really pretty so yeah um, now I am headed to find the nail salon to get my feet done because I desperately desperately need to get them done I see one up here so I think I'm gonna stop over here and see what's up I'm not I usually don't get my nails done in this area but since I'm over here and I know it's rush hour traffic I didn't really want to sit in that so I'm gonna see what this nail salon is talking about we shall see it doesn't look too big um, but yeah let me go in here and I will talk to you guys a little later. I may show you guys a little bit of the salon because it actually looks nice from what I can see from the outside. It is called Bliss Nails and Spa. So yeah, I'm going to go check it out. Bye. Okay, y'all that was fast so apparently they only had three technicians working today and all of them had just started pedicures so she was like it's gonna be like 35 minute wait and there was two other ladies waiting on pedicures in front of me so I was like oh no but as you can see by the footage very very nice in there it's very pretty so I may have to come back and check that one out I got a um, service list like a price list thing um, with all the services they offer so now I'm on the hunt for another nail salon um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be rush hour traffic so I'm trying to avoid going um, back home basically 
in that direction. But I really don't know where any other nail salons are out here. So I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. So I'll keep you guys posted. Bye. Hey y'all, so I just finished getting my pedicure. It's about 6.10. Uh, still Tuesday so now I am going to head home I didn't stop and get a smoothie and I peppermint out in the um, nail salon by where the drying stations were and I made the mistake of eating one and now I feel nauseous so I think I'm going to I should get some cheesecake while I'm out here oh, from cheesecake factory I love it but I'm not I'm going to um, go home and cook some dinner try to stay on my budget since I did do a little bit of shopping today plus I got my feet done so yeah I'm gonna go home and bake some chicken thighs I got this new seasoning that my sister-in-law used over 4th of July weekend on some chicken thighs that were on the grill and so I want to try those I think they'll be good um, so yeah that's my plan. I wanted to get a smoothie, but I don't think there's any smoothie places out here that I know of. So I'm just going to head on back home. I may stop at one on the way home because I know I'll pass one um, in another city, but if not, it's okay. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I did get my pedicure. This place was nice, but it wasn't as nice as the first one that I showed you. So I didn't record anything in here. It was just like a basic it was, it was better than basic but it wasn't like the other one so um yeah the prices were just about the same i think um this one was like 34 basic yeah and i paid extra um for like um exfoliation and all that other stuff so yeah it would have been the same price anyway but i'll talk to you guys a little later bye hey y'all so i decided to stop at smoothie king and get me a smoothie as you can see i got the strawberry extreme this is the only smoothie i've ever had from there because i love it and once i find something that i like i don't deviate it deviate much because i am plain jane so <clears throat> I decided <coughs> excuse me, to stop and get a smoothie because I was starving. I haven't had anything since about 10.30 this morning and it's 6.30 now. And smoothies make me happy. I love them. So I decided to go ahead and get one. Um, now I am going to head home so I can cook me some food because I'm not going to stop and get anything. And I'm not going to any restaurants. I'm going to be good. I've already spent money today that I did not need to spend, so I'm going home to cook food since I have groceries now. So, I just wanted to tell you guys that I did stop for my smoothie because I was hungry and I felt like I deserved a smoothie. And I haven't had one in a while, so I will talk to you guys later. Maybe I'll show you guys the chicken. I'm going to bake mine in the oven. I'm not going to grill it, I don't think. Or maybe I'll grill some of it because I have like a George Foreman and then bake some of it so I won't get tired of it because I think the pack of chicken breasts that I had they're like boneless skinless I think it's like eight, eight in a pack so maybe I'll do four and four I don't know but I'll let you guys know whatever I decide okay hey y'all <clears throat> excuse me so I'm back home and I'm about to prepare some dinner it is 7 49 I went to Kiara's house when I first got home because she was outside and um, she told me her dad put her baby crib together. So I went over there to see that. Then I came back over here. My mom called me to check on me and see how everything went today at court. So I talked to her for a little while. So now I'm finally about to cook some dinner. This is what I'll be having. I have these um, boneless, skinless. Actually, I meant to get the bone in skinless ones, but it's okay. So I have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I have some green beans, just the steamable kind. And then I have some garlic mashed potatoes, which I'm not supposed to be eating, but I'm gonna have that. This is the seasoning, I think. They have like three different kinds of the Sasson Goya, but this is the one I got. Um, and then I got some adobo seasoning, some seasoned salt, 
garlic powder, and just regular black pepper. So I'm going to marinate the chicken, season it up really good, and then bake it on, I don't know, 300, 350? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Bake. Wait. Cancel. I'll do 375. I'm in no way, shape, or form a chef, guys. So bear with me. Let me get pan out. And I just washed my hands. So I'm going to line it and then with some aluminum foil and then get to seasoning. So I will talk to you guys a little later. Um, probably. I'll show you the chicken before I put it in the oven, I think. And then I'll talk to you um, while I'm eating. You know, white families. Yeah. That's okay. Alarm system. So I'm about to set it up. Is this a yard sign? I guess so. Got me some stickers. Set up guide. I will come back once I get everything set up. So here is dinner. Um, some chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, some garlic mashed potatoes, and some steamable green beans that I am going to eat and enjoy. So I'll talk to you guys later.